Don't start again. What are you doing? Give me my phone, you idiot. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. I'm holding you. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I'll fall down the stairs. Oh. Stop it! You are. What is going on? What are you thinking? Let me go! Spit on me? That was Jennifer and David with their 12 year old daughter at home. Now, at this rate, they fear she will never become a functional part of society. Our 12 year old daughter is very angry and reactive. You have lost your phone today for shoving by me. She lacks the willingness to follow rules and hates being checked in on. Her world, everything revolves around her. Everything is fine until that switch gets flipped. Once that happens, things devolve to chaos. What are you doing? Give me my phone, you idiot! Don't punch me. When she's angry, she can't control her impulses and she will attack. I do punch every time I move. Because you keep hitting him. Because you keep hitting me and taking my glasses off. Don't start again. If I walk into her bedroom, she will slam the door on me. Let me close the door in your face. I would be afraid that if very angry, if she could come into our room and do something to us while sleeping. One time we turned off the internet as a punishment. She took my computer, my iPad, Jennifer's phone. I didn't react at all. She came in our room and trashed our bedroom right in front of me. That evening, my hands were visibly scratched. Try to do more of that. David is more lenient with his parenting style. I'm a little bit more of um, what I call the bad cop. I hold my foot down. I'm and if not... you do not bring it down to me, then you are going to lose it longer. If I don't bring it down to you, you won't get it. I'll just keep it forever. I found that things are better for everyone if I act instead of react. Don't. Our marriage has been affected with parenting our daughter. At the end of the day, we go to bed numb. I'm terrified because I don't know what to hope for. Okay, obviously this can't, this can't go on, right? Why is she, in your opinion, the way she is? What's your theory? I don't know why she is the way she is. That's, that's the most no confusing part for me. I really can't figure out why she's so upset. I mean, I, I look at her as living a very privileged life. Okay, how about you, do you have a theory? Uh, my diagnosis is that she's an egomaniac with an inferiority complex. Okay, so you think this is psychological? I don't know the answer to that. It seems the way well, that you she's say you able... you think she's an egomaniac that's insecure. Well, that's what it seems like, a fear of failure, and that's certainly psychological, but where that comes from, Dr. Phil, I don't know. Uh, and that's, okay. that's what concerns me. Yeah, uh, by the way, I don't expect you to know. <laughs> I mean, this is a complex situation. It seems to be layered. It's certainly over y'all's pay grade. It, it's something that's probably gonna be difficult to figure out, but... I've observed some things that I want to take a quick look at. And one of these is an interaction between you uh, and, and your daughter. Let, let's take a look at this. What in the world are you doing? Okay, now you guys are in a physical struggle here. You break the screen, you're paying for it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Ah, yes, you are. Okay, now at this point, you, you, you're restraining her. Now she's trying to get, okay, let, let's stop this for just a second here. She's grabbing on here like she's falling off of a building. You're, you have your arm around her neck and upper torso here. She's got her leg inside like she's trying to, you know, if you just looked at this and you, you knew nothing else, <laughs> You just looked at this. How, how would you interpret this? Uh, Terrifying. I mean, I would say that that's an abusive family situation. Nothing I've ever dreamed that our family would be.